Well, g'day everybody, Steve from Mud Ducks 4 Drive Touring with another spotlight on campgrounds. This one is out near the town of Bawarana in northwestern New South Wales. It's called the Four Mile Campground. I'll give you a look at it. It's not very big this one. Rough camera work there guys. Now at this campground there is a boat ramp. Now we happen to be up here in a time just after a few major rain events. So the river's still semi in flood. So I'm hoping that's not too glary for you. There's a look out over the river. And as you can see, a picnic table and chairs are still in the water. So I can't walk any further down the boat ramp than this because I'll sink in the mud. Now, I'll tell you about this campground. As I said, the name suggests it's four miles out of Bawarana. So about nine k's, something like that. Coordinates you will have seen by now. It's free. suggest it's a council run one I haven't quite worked it out yet but anyway it's free most things will get in here now it's been a bit boggy so I'd suggest at times like this give it a bit of thought if you're coming in here and anything greatly heavy but uh, it's it's not a bad spot I know the caravan here's probably got the best spot for that kind of equipment in this particular scenario. And it's got fire pits or fire barbecues, wood fire barbecues. Bring your own wood. It's got bins. And they say Bawar and Ashaya, so let's assume it's council run. It's got all the tourist info boards for the region just here. So uh, it's got yeah, all that stuff there. So I'll tell you all about what you can do in the region. So I won't go into what you can do here, but it's got all that stuff on the signboards. More on the other side, including a town map where you can get guided tours, all sorts of things. Kaz and I, because of the boggy conditions, we camp pretty well on the edge of the tar where it's not going to sink. And yep, I left the door open in the cruiser. That's my fault. Can't blame Kaz on this occasion. And this particular campground has toilets. They look like your ordinary everyday pig toilets, but they're not. They're flushing. I would assume, given the colour of the water, they were flushing from the river, so they'd probably pump up. And in here is four shower cubicles. Now, cold only, so they possibly pump up from the river too. Now that is the main part of the campground. It is a little bit of a challenge to get here. Put a map in if I haven't already and show you where we are and then there's another section down here that I don't know how far I'm going to get down to 
It's a lot further away from the main camping area. And when we got here, a bloke with a camper trailer and a Hilux had just come out of here and he said he had been stuck in here for four days. He just couldn't get out. It was too boggy. No winch. He said if he'd had a winch, he probably would have dragged himself out, but he didn't. And he had a ton and a half of camper trailer on the back to hold him back. And these are his tracks you see here. Now, it's nobody's fault. I mean, the guy's been here for four days. He just wants to get out. But you can see he goes through a little swampy section. And then you go drive up here. Now, this is black soil country, guys. So, the minute you get any water on it, it just turns to mush. And believe me, I know. God, I got close to getting bogged myself earlier today. And all I did is pull up at a sign, have a look at it. Got off the road a foot and problems. Anyway, I digress. So, this is, I might actually struggle getting out of here, I reckon. And yeah, I can see why. I can't save any steps any further. Because you can see where they've walked in and out of here a few times and uh, nearly sunk so look I'd love to show you the rest of the campground but I'm not walking through all the bogs and stuff to get there maybe one year in the future I'll get back here and revisit this campground and uh, if I do I'll, and I'll film it again then I'll delete this one I'll just replace it but for the time being this is the best I can do with this so yeah god I'm half an inch taller got that much mud on the bottom of my boot and I didn't even go into anything difficult so it's not a real big campground as you can see during normal weather conditions, anything you get in here. Wiki Camp says it's fine for big rigs. Why a truck would be down here, I don't know. But it's also good for everything else, as you can see. I would have seen we're camping in the swag. There's a caravan in here. So pretty well everything in between that would be fine. So that's the story there so another track goes off that way and I reckon it's equally as boggy so look I'd love to show you more I really would but I honestly think that I won't be doing any favours I won't be doing myself any favours trying to get there so this one's a bit short and sweet guys not much I can do about that I'm sorry So, with that in mind, I might call it here. Sometimes they're only little campgrounds, guys. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy it, put a like on it. It helps the channel greatly. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, click the notification bell. It makes all the difference to the channel. And to the old hands, as always, once again, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my clips. And uh, just remember to get out there, enjoy the bush, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.